Hello and welcome back. In this session, we will take a look at exceptions and how to handle exception in Python. What is an exception? An exception is nothing but whenever a program is running, then some event will trigger that program to abruptly end or come to a halt. So that is nothing but an exception. Exception handling is a mechanism of stopping normal program flow and continuing at some surrounding context or code block. So instead of halting the entire program, we can handle that exception and continue the program to either a surrounding context or a different code block. So we can also raise an exception to interrupt normal flow. It is not necessary that an external event should always trigger an exception. We can also raise an exception. There is a way of doing that in Python. And we can also handle an exception to resume the control. Okay, unhandled exception will terminate the program. If we don't handle the exception, it will abruptly end or terminate the program. So there is an exception object which is available with all the exceptions that will contain some information about the exceptional event which has occurred. So we will see an example of all of these. So let us go to PyCharm here. So let me comment out these code. So we are looking at exceptions. Okay. So let me try this. So 10 multiplied by 1 divided by 0. So anything divided by 0 is invalid. So let me execute this. I get zero division error. So that means whenever Python executes this particular statement 10 multiplied by 1 divided by 0. So this is an invalid expression. Okay, we cannot divide a number by 0. So that is why we get this zero division error. So in order to continue, how do we handle this exception now we know that this particular statement is causing this exception so what we can do is we can use try block and within this try block we will add this statement and then there is an accept block that is exception block. Which prints a number cannot be divided by zero. So let me execute this. We try to execute this. The program didn't abruptly end. However, it went to this exception block and it printed this value. So whenever we executed this, we got an exception called zero division error. This except will catch all the exceptions. So if you want to catch a specific exception, suppose say we know that the number cannot be divided by zero and it is going to cause zero division error. So in that case, we can add a specific exception called accept zero division error. And here I will put number cannot be divided by 0 
and since this is a generic exception i'm going to make this as exception cost and caught generic exception okay so now i will execute this okay let me take out this and re-execute this now it says number cannot be divided by zero so in the earlier case it went to this generic exception however if we know already which exception it is going to raise we can provide that specific exception here okay the specific exception is provided above the generic exception so if i take out this and put it after this i get error here saying that the generic default accept must be last so that means the order is very important here the order is specific exception first followed by generic exception now let me change this to one here in this case there is no exception because it is a valid statement here so we should get no exception here however it has not printed any value so let me put this within print method okay so it has printed 10 and there is no exception here now another thing is so let me comment out this except here we can also have else with except For example, if I change it back to zero and execute this, I get this number cannot be divided by zero. However, if I change this to one, I should be getting no exception caused along with the, the value here. So we can also use else. So there is another block which we can use that is finally block so this is a finally block now okay, let me change the value of 1 to 0 so that it causes an exception let me execute this okay number cannot be divided by zero so there is an exception caused and the finally block also got executed so let me change this back to one and execute this now even though there is no exception caused by this particular statement we still get finally block is used so this gets printed in both cases whether there is a there is an exception or not so this finally block will always get executed this finally block can be used to release the memory held by certain objects for example if you want to close the socket or close the database connection so other thing which we need to see is how to raise an exception earlier we had seen one example wherein we were checking different condition based on the age of a person so let us use the same example here 
and we will raise an exception okay so the age has to be a number that is an integer okay so if not type of age is integer then raise type error that is age needs to be integer value okay so right now age is an integer value so let me execute this okay we, sh we shouldn't be seeing anything here because age is integer however if i change this to high which is a string then i should get this type error okay so this is just finally block and after that you see age needs to be integer value so this causes the program to halt it is not always an external event however based on certain conditions we can also raise an exception so in this case we have raised this type error exception and the other thing which we need to look at is exception object contains information about the exceptional event say for example in the earlier example so let me change this back to 25 here okay if we take the earlier example here we were dividing it by a zero to get this zero division error however we can also have an object of this zero division error to get more information as ex and then if you want to get more information on that particular object then we can use format of ex okay so let me execute this along with number cannot be divided by zero which is user defined print method this object will give you some information that is division by zero so this information is obtained from this particular object it is not necessary that you have to have only one exception under except block you can have multiple exception and each exception is followed by a comma so for example type error okay so here it is checking for both zero division error as well as type error okay so with this we have seen how to raise an exception how to handle an exception and how to get information from exception object that is the end of this session. Thanks for watching.